Podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. It's Tim Wilmer here from Wizard Systems. Thanks for joining me today for Goldmine 101, our regular series of short Goldmine presentations, giving you hints and tips for getting the most uh, out of Goldmine. And this morning, I'm going to cover how to do a bit of lead scoring in Goldmine. Now, this presentation will be about uh, 10 minutes or so in duration, uh, not too long. It's just an overview of how you can do this in Goldmine, not meant to be an in-depth uh, training session on, on its implementation. Uh, my company, Wizard Systems, we offer um, many different services for uh, customizing your, your Goldmine system and getting the most out of it. And uh, we'd love to explore those um, with you after this call if, you, if you'd want us to. Now, the audio part of this presentation is one way only. If you've got any questions, please type those into the question box on your meeting control panel, and I'll do my best to answer those at the end. Uh, probably best to type them in as you think of them rather than waiting till the uh, very last moment. And also at the end, I'll, I'll give you an update on any Goldmine product news that we've got. Um, this call is being recorded after the presentation. You will get an email from our system with a link to the recording that you could play back um, when you want to. And also, we'll most likely pop it up on our YouTube channel as well. OK, so let's get started then. As I normally do, just a very brief mention about Wizard Systems. We're a top supplier of Goldmine and CRM worldwide. We've been doing this for quite some time now. Um, over the last 25 years, we've implemented well over 3,000 um, separate installations of CRM. Uh, mainly in the UK, but further afield as well, overseas, and into all sorts of different types of companies as well. Um, we also provide all the services around gold mines, so upgrades, um, extra training, integrating gold mine with other applications. We do also supply a wide range of gold mine add-ons, and we've got a gold mine help desk uh, here as well, a telephone help desk here. So um, for those people that have a, a contract service with us, we can support them and help them out over the phone, email, whatever. So um, let's get into Goldmine then and go through lead scoring. So here is my demonstration um, system and an example Goldmine contact record. and um, I'm showing you lead scoring as a field against uh, a client's record. So why would we do lead scoring in the first place? Well, um, it can be difficult in a typical CRM database, particularly large databases, to see easily who, who are your top leads, who's your top customers. Um, and, and lead scoring can really help you with how you manage your time on those larger systems so you you're, you're focusing on those clients that you've got more information about or they're a, a closer fit to your business um, so it can help you uh, better with your targeting of your time it could also help with marketing um, in this example here it's an actual value in the system in, in the database so we can create lists based on that information um, and being being a value in the field we can do reporting on it as well so it could help us with reporting on who are our top uh, our top clients with some sort of uh, algorithm there so th this is how um, we've we've managed to do it in our goldmine system we've basically got a little algorithm um, Nothing as complex as uh, Google or YouTube algorithm. It's quite straightforward. Um, and let, well, let me show you actually this this working in in the first place, and um, then I'll I'll allude to roughly how it's done in Goldmine, and then uh, you can decide if you'd like us to do something similar with your Goldmine system. So imagine this is a new lead. Um, Bob test here. Maybe we got a source. We got a little bit of address, but you can see we're missing maybe some vital information. Um, who does he work for? Is he on his own? Is he an individual? 
uh, may, maybe you're a B2B um, uh, uh, company and, you know, it's very important for you to get the organization name. We don't have a phone number. Uh, we don't have Bob's um, job title. I've got fields here for um, tracking. What is Bob interested in? What, what service can we, we offer him? Um, what's the relationship um, between between Bob and ourselves? Um, uh, over on the right hand side here, I've got a use now field. So what does he use right now? What what products or services maybe from our competitors does he use right now? Um, LinkedIn, does Bob have some kind of social profile? Does he have kind of, some kind of social presence? Maybe you use in your company, you do use LinkedIn a lot to research new new inquiries and if somebody doesn't have some sort of LinkedIn presence, then that might be uh, a sort of red flag to maybe think, well, maybe we don't have a lot of information on this person or we can't research this person. So anyway, um, this person has a lead score currently of 11%. But as I add in more information, so let's put in a, a company name here, whatever it might be. Um, and as I add in that information, do you see the lead score is gradually um, creeping up there? Maybe we, after a few um, email dialogues, we gather a, a, a job title for this person. So we select um, a job title for this person, enter that into the Goldmine database, and yeah, okay, so the lead score is going up a little bit there. Um, maybe we gather a phone number as well. Uh, so we put that in there, whatever that might be. Um, and again, the score is gradually creeping up. Um, perhaps we know eventually what is he interested in so we can sort of fine tune um, our services to this person. So from our drop down list there, we select that and it's gradually creeping up. And then maybe uh, we do find out, well, yes, Bob's actually got some sort of LinkedIn profile there. So we pop that in there and um, that then increases that lead score. So that is a value in the database. So we can um, search on this, we can rank our leads on this, we could we could pull off a list of everyone that's got a lead score above 50% or everyone's got a lead score below, below, 50, below 50% or below 25% or whatever, and obviously combine that with other, other information as well. Um, Basically how this is done, well, you might see down here on my fields tab. So we've got these tabs running across the, the contact record and there is a screen which would be hidden from the users. The users don't need to see this, but in the background, it's just sort of adding up these scores and giving us um, a, a percentage value. So um, these, these fields, they're either a zero because they don't have a value in it or the, the entry is not good enough, or it's a one, it does have a value, and we're just totaling all those up um, and ranking that as, as a percentage score um, to help the users. Um, specifically, how uh, that is done is with a little, uh, again, a background thing in Goldmine. There is, um, there, there is a, a file in Goldmine that users will never see called the lookup.ini. If I just um, flick over to show you this, here we are. This is the lookup.ini, just basically a set of instructions um, for Goldmine. And uh, I'm just displaying this in, in Notepad here. Um, and this file has got lots of sections within it. Um, I don't know whether you can see here, but I've got some sections here for the for the scoring field that we saw on my goldmine screen. And this is looking for these different values here. Um, one of them is um, one of those scoring um, mechanisms, calculations is on the email. Maybe if the email address contains a Gmail or a BT internet or a Yahoo address or Hotmail, you know, it's not, it's not like an organization um, domain maybe we might think, well, that's of lower value to us than, you know, going back to whether you're B2B or B2C. Um, if you're B2B, then maybe you do want this 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 to be a proper domain name. So we're we're sort of filtering out of that and giving them a 
giving them a lower score if they've got a, a Gmail type address. Anyway, we add all those up and it adds it adds to a total and, and that can be um, displayed easily on the goldmine screen. It could be anywhere on this on this uh, on this goldmine contact record there. But just I mean this is just an example. We could go further. We could say, well, um, what what type of industry are they in? Um, maybe that has some purpose in in ranking, um, and and other things as well. All the I've got over here. Um, how many users might they be, or how many? What's the size of the company? That too could be part of that algorithm to um, build up that value. So anyway, just a few ideas there for you on uh, lead scoring. Um, it's it's not it's not a standard thing in Goldman. It has to be created. Um, Wizard Systems can create this for you if you're not familiar with the the terminology I've described. These custom fields, the lookup.ini, um, this this scoring mechanism within the lookup.ini. Um, this this is one very simple way of doing one very straightforward way of doing it in Goldman. But we can um, we can assist you and discuss with you that the, the the algorithm that you want. Maybe some of these fields are relevant to you. You know you're not really interested in an interest field or what they're using right now. Um, everyone's going to be different as regards how they're going to rank their leads. So uh, uh, we'd be happy to discuss that um, with you. So. Um, uh, I'd now like to open out a call to any questions that you've got there um, around this sort of feature and how you how you can rank your leads and so on. Um, but I'm quite happy to answer any um, answer any Goldman general generic gold, uh, general Goldman questions you've got. Um, Rosetta is asking, what are the red fields in your system? Okay, so those. Um, those red field labels, we can do some conditional um, label formatting, if that's the right word for it. Uh, so basically, um, in that system, if the value, if there's no, if there's no value in that field, then the field appears red and in uppercase. So it's just, a, it's just a sort of visual indication to the user to say, look here, you know, you you should be putting some information in this field, and not leaving it blank. Um, and not make it too onerous by making it a mandatory field, which of course we can have in Goldmine. We can have required and mandatory fields, but sometimes they can detract from from the user flow and productivity, stopping users doing what they're doing, having to put in a reason why they left a field blank, which is which is the way Goldmine sometimes work, is to prompt the user for why have you left that field blank, um, so we can give a sort of visual indication there. Uh, and yes, it can be any color. Uh, Rosetta, yeah, I, we just got red um, as an example there. Um, so next question from Trevor. We import leads from a telemarketing company. Would that still create the lead value? Yeah, um, yeah, uh, it would. Um, this lookup.ini thing is just an automatic um, uh, component of Goldmine. And yeah, as, as the... As the leads come in, it will just it will just activate that calculation, and um, yes, you will get that um, score there. Quite a good idea, you know, if you are getting um, new leads or inquiries or data that's being cleaned up by an outside telemarketing agency, and you're re-importing that into Goldmine. Um, great idea uh, to have um, that uh, that scored automatically. Um, next question from Julie. Um, where exactly does the admin enter the scores for the automatic lead scoring? Um, so that's done via this. Um, uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so you, you said you might have missed it. But this is done in my example, Julie. It's done with a background file called the lookup.ini um, and also with some fields that are hidden from the users that the administrator would use for compiling this uh, this scoring mechanism. So that's how it's done in this system. Um, yeah, have you missed it? If, um, just wait for the recording, Julian, you'll, you'll get that um, uh, sent to you later on. Okay, don't think there's any more questions. If any uh, late, okay, Julie, uh, if any more late questions come through, um, I'll answer separately via email. Um, just to 
keep you up to date with any gold mine news. We do have um, a gold mine advanced training course next Wednesday um, covering more advanced features of gold mine. Great for anyone who wants to get more out of gold mine um, or administrators. Uh, please contact us for details on that at our Bristol location. Of course, we can offer training at your place or online if that um, suits your company better. The latest release, we're often asking, you know, what is the latest version of Goldmine? Uh, the latest release is currently 2018.2. Um, so we go by this year. Obviously, we are awaiting a 2019 at some stage this year. Um, and then between the major releases, there are these hot fixes. So we're currently up to hot fix three. Um, if you've got a maintenance contract, you will um, have access to these updates. And also, uh, you'll have update. You'll, you'll have access to uh, the goldmine knowledge base. So, um, Ivanti, who are the owners of the goldmine brand, they have a knowledge base that you'll have access to. Um, so, for example, here the, this is a a recent one that was uh, updated on um, an, an issue with older versions of goldmine. Um, emailing from Goldman and certain characters being being scrambled a little bit. So there's a workaround and solution there. So you've got access to to that knowledge base, um, which could be uh, which could be quite useful for you. Um, if you do, if you don't currently have maintenance, please contact us for details. There are some um, special offers knocking around for um, in enticing you back onto maintenance. Uh, as always, um, if you find this short presentation of value and you'd like to um, suggest some future topics uh, that would be of interest to the goldmine community at large, you know, something of general appeal, please um, let me know of your ideas, tim at wizard-systems.com. Um, uh, that's it for our, our call today, Thursday. Um, Stay tuned, uh, watch out for the next uh, Goldmine 101, which might be in a couple of weeks' time. Not sure what the top is going to be right now, but let me know if you've got any suggestions. And there's all our contact details there, um, various ways of contact, contacting us. But thanks very much for your time. Thanks for your support of uh, Goldmine, and we will catch up with you soon. Thank you very much indeed. Bye-bye.